Today I'm gonna to show you how quick and easy it is to make what I call a button up scarf. And this is how it looks. It's basically a scarf that goes around your neck and you button it together. And it's really cute extra way to stay warm when it's cold outside. So here's what you need. You need two strips of fabric. These are folded in half, 10 and a half inches tall by anywhere from 29 to like 34, 35 inches wide. The wider you go, the less tight it's going to be and better for a larger neck. You can go smaller for kids. So you need two of those. I'm using flannel from my Hello Winter Flannel Collection by Riley Blake. You need three buttons, or you could use two bigger buttons or one really big button, totally up to you, but buttons. Um, two pieces of interfacing. These are two inches wide by the 10 and a half. Thread and clips. So let's get started and I'll show you how easy this is to make. So one thing to consider when choosing fabrics is I usually use a darker fabric and not white for the inside because this scarf does fit pretty snugly around the neck and if people are wearing makeup or get sweaty, like that's gonna show dirt more. So I think going darker is better. And then if you're going to use a directional design, you want it to be going this way, lengthwise. So the first thing we're gonna do is put these right side together. And then you're going to put the piece of interfacing on each end. That's just gonna give a little bit more stability for your buttonholes and your um, buttons. And then I like to use these clips. You can clip or pin. And you're just gonna clip all the way around. So then you're gonna have a big rectangle, clips all the way around and this on each end. Then we're gonna take it to the sewing machine and sew all the way around, leaving a small space to turn it with a 5 8 inch seam allowance. Now that I've sewn all the way around and left some space for turning right side out, I'm going to trim the corners. And the reason I do such a big seam allowance is sometimes with the warmer fabrics, fleece or flannel, it slips a little bit. So it's easier to do a little bigger seam allowance than have it not catch all of your fabric. So I'm just trimming these quarters and because it's a bigger seam allowance, I'm kind of cutting a little bit more to get some of the bulk out of that corner. All right, now you're just gonna turn it right side out. All right, so I use my fingers to get the corners, but then you can get them a little bit more if you use a turning tool. I'm gonna use this cute little flamingo from Riley Blake Designs, and just very gently pushing to shape that corner a little more corner-ish, but if, don't, don't go too hard because you don't wanna jam that thing through your fabric, especially with flannel, it's softer. So you have a little more risk of that. Now I'm gonna press this and press that seam under and then stitch all the way around with a quarter inch seam from the edge. All right, now I have this, it's just a big long rectangle. So now I'm gonna show you how to figure out where to put your buttonholes and where to put your buttons. So if we're doing three buttons, the buttonholes are going to go on the short edge when the pattern is in the right direction. And then the three buttons are going to go on the opposite side down at the bottom. So we're gonna have holes here, buttons here. And I'm gonna show you how to line them up. So the first thing we're gonna do is set where our buttonholes go. I have a fabric pen and a ruler, and then I'm also going to use three pins. Okay, put the one inch, an inch along the edge, and then I'm going to mark, just do a little dot at one and a half inches. This isn't the easiest to see on this fabric, but I can see it when I'm sewing. And then at the three inches, shows up great on that color, and then four and a half inches. So it's basically right at that dot on that snowflake. But just because they are a little hard to see, I also put a pin so I know where to look when I get to my sewing machine. Okay. 
So then I'm going to do buttonholes that are the size for these buttons. And because everyone has a different sewing machine, um, I'm not, this isn't really a buttonhole tutorial. Uh, you're gonna use, make your buttonholes however you do them with your machine for the size buttons that you choose. You can use bigger buttons. Um, if you did bigger buttons, you would wanna maybe use two. I don't have a really good color to go with it, but you could do one if you just want a really cool like accent button. And if you wanted to do something like that, I would put the buttonhole right around the three inch mark. That's gonna be kind of center that. That would be a good spot for one button. So that's totally up to you. So get your buttonholes done, and then I will show you how to figure out where these buttons go very specifically so that this works. So I've sewn my three buttonholes, and then I'm gonna use this cool little seam ripper from Riley Blake. It just fits on your finger, it's awesome. And just very carefully open the buttonholes. If you're worried about moving too fast, you could put a little pin at the end, but I like to go nice and slow. All right, so that opens the buttonholes. So now we need to place, don't need the ruler, we need to place our buttons. So remember, when you put this on, this wraps around your neck, so your neck is in here, and then it lines up on the far side here. It feels kind of weird when you are just placing things, but I promise that's how it works. So our buttons are gonna go there. So what I do is I just make sure this edge is lined up and this edge is lined up. And then I open the buttonhole a little bit and I do a mark in the center of the buttonhole. All right, so I have three marks. Again, just because of the color mark pen I have, not super easy to see. So I'm gonna put pins just so I know where to look for my marks. But you can do that however you want, but that is how you're gonna get them lined up. So the next thing to do is to go and sew my buttons. So we're gonna get that done and then I'm gonna show you how to put it on. This is just such a quick and easy project. It is literally a rectangle of fabric with buttonholes and buttons, great gift, great thing to make and sell at craft fairs. You can also use other materials. I've done it with cotton fabric and fleece on the back. If you want this to be even warmer, you could do flannel on one side, fleece on the other side. So you can create any look that you want. Also great for holiday gifts. Okay, the moment of truth, putting it on. So you're just gonna grab the rectangle. This is the back. Have the button holes on the right. Put it around your neck like a scarf. Grab the bottom buttonhole, pull it around and put it on the bottom, the button closest to the short edge on this side. And then just button all three or two or one, depending on how many buttons you put on yours. And then you just need to adjust it. So you're just gonna twist this a little bit you're gonna line up this short side with this long side so that it makes kind of that triangular shape. And you can fold it down a little if you want a little more air at your neck. If it's really cold, just keep it up. And you'll see that then when you put your jacket on, it keeps your neck and chest nice and warm. And it's just kind of cute and different. So, hope you like that. They're super easy. If you make any and post them, be sure to tag me so I can see what fabric choices you made.